my deepest fear is someone taking a nutcracker and crushing one of my testicles, perhaps my right testicle. That's one of my fears. That'd be awful. Hey, you're right. It gets easier as you get older. Um, I don't know your name, and I couldn't find it. Maybe you told me before. Is it Mike? Um, it gets easier as you get older because people start respecting you. It's fucking weird. And then it's like, and then you get well known, and then you have that uber respect, and that's like nerve wracking because people just assume you're great r immediately when they meet you every time. And all you can do is ruin it, like, of yourself, you know? You either are great, you just sit there and are great, or you go out of your way to make them think you're not great. And it's so easy to be great and maintain it, you know? Because it's what you are, I guess. I don't know. People elevate you. They want to elevate. They're, they're really good at that, uh, getting together and supporting you. And it really, if you let yourself be supported, you can do crazy shit, like amazingly new, innovative stuff that people support it and it's like that's the trust of reality it's cool getting a little older I guess it, maybe it's the more ex experience maybe or I don't know if it's just if you're good and maybe it's just uh, I think it's the experience of self not the age the more experienced you become you can really experience really quick like you said As for the dinosaurs, I think they thought probably they were too big to fail. Um, I, I think the system can always fail. It can always begin again with a new idea. Uh, I think violence is an answer. People say it's not. Gandhi said it, you know, try to do peaceful, 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 and he did. So that works too, but so do bloody revolutions. And one of these days, these cops are going to get overzealous, and the crowd's going to kill them. Uh, that's probably happening in the world, undocumented, you know? But it's going to happen. It's going to be documented. That Kent State shooting, I, I was getting remnants of it watching this UC Davis, Berkeley like the cops have their guns kind of pointed down. I don't know. You know, the more I sit here and fume, the more I start to look at violence as an option. Like, our revolutionary country makers, leaders or whatever, George Washington, they were all a bunch of fucking warriors. Well, not all of them, but there were a lot of brains. They were a bunch of brains, and then... But the only reason the United States exists is because of a bloody war that we fought that people fought. They killed a bunch of people and said, this is where I'm staying. Don't come over here anymore. We'll kill you. And so the people stopped coming over because they kept killing them. Uh, horrific atrocity from one angle. But bloody necessity from another angle. I mean, obviously it's not necessary, but it happened. You know, if this system, it, it becomes so horrible that more people are suffering than aren't suffering, uh, I'm not going to be sad to see it go. And I think if I get apathetic enough, I would lead a revolution. I don't know. It's silly to say lead. What would I do? Just get up and scream? I wouldn't even scream. I'd emote and stay focused and get behind my opponent. Put something behind them. Uh, I don't... Oh, no, you know, that's the thing. I was going to say I don't advocate violence, but sometimes I do. I don't really. I'm not violent, and I don't like to fight. I'll avoid a fight if it's possible. Like a, a, a guy last night was like, go stand over there. He was pissed off because I wouldn't sell him pot. I'm like, the fuck some random guy asked me to buy pot at a, at a bar. So he's all pissed because he just wants to smoke pot. And he's like, go stand over there. And he, he looks at his buddy, and he's like, right? And his buddy's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, they were up on a ledge. And they were cool. Like, we were talking for a while, but then he was just, and I was like, 
just walked, I just walked to where he pointed. Like, I mean, I didn't like subserviently walk over. I just like walked over to my friends and then kept dancing and then we left. Um, and you know, if he was like on my level and got up in my face, I still would have walked away. I would have went over there. There's no reason to fight. But like, I had these fantasies of like someone pushing me one too many times and just choking me, breaking their larynx or whatever. Uh, it's real easy. And I don't think it would really, I don't want to get embroiled in some sort of legal battle where I've killed someone or done someone damage, you know. I'd rather just walk away. Live to see another day. Some people, though, I think, are such assholes that they deserve to die. Is that horrible? Or they deserve pain? You know, they deserve a taste of what they've given? Does everyone? Probably. Not, not, not death, but t deserves to get what they've given. There's all sorts of ways to look at it. In one way, you can reform people. You know, someone's violent, and then you... You know, though, in my experience in my past, I was bullied until I bullied back, and then I stopped being bullied. You just show them once, like, if you fuck with me, there's a chance that I'll kill you. And they don't fuck with you ever. They become your friend. It's weird. Intimidation works like persuasion. But then, like, you know, these these big businessmen, the owners of the banks and the world monetary funds, like, this group of uh, baboons 20 years ago, you know, baboons are violent. They, the big alpha males are, like, these brutal, beat down, take what they want. And there were these tribes of baboons fighting, you know, the big, the big dom dominating, uh, what would you call them, dictators the leaders, the powerful ones, were uh, fighting each other over the food that was left out at this resort uh, in the garbage. It was like the meat that was thrown out. And so, you know, all the big strong ones finally got the food, and those were the ones that got all the food. And the food happened to be tainted with bovine, um, fucking bovine, some, some fucking lung disease or some bovine cancer, bovine, uh, still have it here. I do have it. Bear with me. I'll try and look at the screen while I'm talking to you. Uh, but anyway, it was like bovine cholera or bovine something. And so all the, the monkeys got sick and they died. All these really strong, dominating monkeys ate, ate the tainted meat and it killed them. And so the society was left with like these subservient males and women and children. And they developed a pacifist society. And baboons, the way it works is the female baboons stay in the same place their whole life. And the male baboons leave when they're teenagers and seek out their fortune. You know, and they, they, they land in other tribes and learn the ways of a new tribe. So they get these aggressive baboons coming into this pacifist tribe. And the aggressive baboons would see that it was pacifist and they would learn the ways of pacifism. And stress was way down in that culture. And I think the same kind of thing can happen with our society. All these really rich people are all kind of hanging together. You know, it's like one plane crash and three of them go down or whatever. Uh, but like, if they're all, if they've all got their chickens in this one basket, if the basket goes bad, even by sitting out for a week or two weeks, they're all done. All of them at once will be gone. And, and the rest of society will be like, where do we go now? Who do we know that we can trust? Who do we, we know each other. We have YouTube. We have things like, I know people that I've met through the internet that I feel like could lead the world or the country or whatever you want to call it. And, and I, that has given me kind of this secret faith that we will be okay um, whether I do something or not. So I think we're going to be fine. Uh, obviously, it's always up and down, right? Left and right. Right, left, and right. But tell me your name, um, Tech Riot. Tech Riot! It's too late to be screaming. It's after midnight. I need a big house where I can scream and let it out. See you later.